In this problem, we have a particle moving along a straight line. Its acceleration is given as a function of velocity. And uh, if its initial velocity is 80 meter per second, we need to determine its velocity when t is 2 seconds. So in this case, again, the first question we ask is which equation we use. So we have the three kinematic equations, v equals to ds dt, a equals to dv dt, and then lastly, a ds equals to v dv. So when we analyze the problem, there is no involvement of s. Therefore, we have acceleration, velocity, and time. Therefore, we focus on this one. We pick this one. And because acceleration is a function of velocity, therefore we have negative 0.2 v squared equals to dv dt because this is acceleration. So what we want to do is we want to separate the variables. So we move dt on one side and then the velocity, we divide that of the entire equation and then it's moved to the right hand side 1 over negative 0.2 v squared dv. Again, the purpose of this is to separate the variables. So time is on one side and anything involving velocity is on the other side. So we can do a little bit of a transformation and this becomes negative 5 v to the negative seconds power dv. And now we can integrate on both sides. So on the left hand side, the initial time is t equals to 0 second integrated to current time, dt. And this is simply equals to t minus a zero, which is just t. The right hand side is integrated from initial velocity, which is not zero, but 80, to current velocity, negative five v to the negative second power dv. Therefore, the right hand side becomes, we integrate this part, and that's positive five v to the negative first power, evaluated from the lower limit 80 to higher limit v and this equals to 5 times 1 over v minus 1 over 80. Because we are asked to evaluate velocity when t equals to 2 seconds, you can do it now or if you say I prefer to have a general uh, equation, general vt function then we take this and we take this and do a little bit of transformation. So we have t over 5 equals to 1 over v minus 1 over 80. t over 5 plus 1 over 80 equals to 1 over v. And this part right here equals to 16t plus 1 over 80. Therefore, as a result, v function, vt function equals to 80 divided by 16t plus 1. So now you can evaluate the velocity at any time. But since t equals to 2, this equals to 80 over 16t plus 1, and that equals to 2.42 in the unit of meter per second. And that is the final answer for this problem.